waiting for Mikhail. We were supposed to meet at 4 o'clock. I said to Violetta, look, if you get the interview, that's great. But if not, don't sweat it. Just enjoy yourself in Copenhagen. I mean, he is a famous bike guru, so of course he may be hard to reach. But I was wrong. Michael Colville Anderson was punctual and playful too on his beloved billet cargo bike. So this is the guy who started Copenhagenize.com and the even more famous Copenhagen Cycle Chic. And now he had my videographer in his cargo bike and was taking her wherever he takes his visitors, this bull beta, this shit disturber of the cycling world. So I'm not into cycling. Uh, I'm into uh, um, creating livable cities. You know, um, and the bicycle is a fantastic tool for, for achieving that goal. You know, it's a, right. when I travel around giving lectures about our bicycle culture, I always say we have 500,000 people every day who ride bicycles around, but we don't have any cyclists. There's no cyclists in Copenhagen. There's half a million people riding bicycles. That's just a tool between your legs that helps you get to work or, or to pick up your kids or go to the supermarket. We've demystified the bicycle in Copenhagen, and, um, and that's the goal for any, you know, emerging bicycle culture, really, is to completely demystify it. You know, because in many countries it's like a, it's a, it's a, it's a fetish, you know. Right. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a subculture, you know, and they all have their uniforms and all that, you know, which is fine, but it's, you know, that's just not the way it is here. It's just regular people who uh, wear regular clothes on really crappy regular bicycles. And uh, so that's why I say I'm not into cycling. I watch the Tour de France every year. I used to race when I was young, but I mean, I'm not into cycling. I often say that the relationship to the bicycle in Copenhagen is the same as it is to our vacuum cleaners. We all have one, we've all learned how to use them, we all use them, but you don't go around thinking about your vacuum cleaner every day. We don't have five vacuum cleaners that we polish. We don't give our vacuum cleaners names. We don't wave at other vacuum cleaning people on the streets, you know. We don't go to a specialty shop to buy vacuum cleaners and buy clothes in which to vacuum, you know. It's just, it's, um, it's, it's just a tool to vacuum. But Michael didn't woo the world with vacuum cleaners. This is the family machine, by the way. He got us, he keeps us, by discovering beauty. Humans, especially women, dressing as they please, sitting up on classic bikes, not that different from those that their grandmothers rode, are extremely beautiful, seductive. And the word he likes is chic. There's something about the way a bike's line and a body line merge. A sort of presentational joining that's like no other. It all started by coincidence, you know, taking one street photography photo one day on my way to work, you know, in the morning light, a nice photo, but I, you know, everybody noticed the bike and the woman on the bike, you know. So this has sort of started this whole wave of photographs which ended up on a, on a blog that I set up, Copenhagen Cycle Chic. And that has started this global movement of, uh, so, you, know, you know, planting the words, the phrase Cycle Chic all over the planet now. Okay. And that led to me starting uh, Copenhagenize.com. Right. And um, so sort of a strange career shift where I'm now like a Denmark's leading bicycle ambassador, whatever that means, I don't know. But, um, and I'm a you know, bicycle planning consultant and marketing consultant for uh, cities and towns. So it's all very strange. So it's, it's still bizarre, still to this day. So how does that feel for you? Do you feel like there's a lot of pressure on you as far as the blog is concerned? Or? Not really. It's really, um, no, there's no pressure on me about the blogs. It just, it's running, it's, you know, it's expanding, it's exploding. I, you know, keeping up with it in a way is, uh, is, is you know, an element of stress, but I mean, it's, it's, it has its own life, you know, the, the slow bicycle movement, you know, that has a, a completely different life. It's just wild how, how people have been so hungry for the bicycle again, you know, without ever knowing it, without anybody really being aware of it. But have, I mean... Have you seen this Barcelona blog? There's a Barcelona blog also. 
Yeah. Yeah. Barcelona, she. Yeah, that's that's Che. I know her. Yeah. Uh, I met her in Brussels um, at the Venice City Bicycle Congress. Oh, you did. Uh, the, the list of copycats and collaborators, as I call them, is very long. You know, um, all of you know Auckland Cycle Chic, mm -hmm. Warsaw Cycle. Like, I mean, it's it's just really amazing how it's hit off. Um, so it's very it's humbling, you know, and it's also quite cool, you know, at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, but where do I where where do we go with it? I don't know. You know, I guess when does it end? Does it end when the bicycle becomes like it is here in Copenhagen, a completely normal thing to do? You know, to ride to work on your bicycle in your high heels or your suit. Maybe that's the end of it. But that's you know a longer journey. So uh, until then, you know, we'll we'll, we'll keep at it. And our journey? Well, it could be even longer. At least before we start looking chic on bikes. The women here, in fact, everybody must wear a lid because it seems our brains are so much more fragile than those of the Dutch and the Danes. And how strange it is then that so well protected as we are, only about 1% of these people here out for a fun ride on Sunday will actually be on bikes tomorrow, Monday morning. Excuse me, do you use your bike to transport at home? No, unfortunately I don't. <laughs> and what's the reason for that? Uh, cars, pretty much. <laughs> uh, no, got far too far to go, but uh, yeah, just around town at the weekend. No, I don't. Just for leisure, right? Yes. What about you? Just for leisure? Nah, too dangerous. Really? Yeah. Do you ever use it to transport your bike? Never. Something funny is going on here. I think we should find out what it is, don't you? Oh, I almost forgot. There is one person here, Sue Abbott, who's achieved psycho chic. But you know, she's breaking the law.